White flag is raised. They're off in the very last one. The Coolmore National Hunt, Sar Santiago Irish EBF Mayor's Iron H Bumper. It's a great two as they make their way on up the straight. And the first to show in front is Montiep leading a couple of legs. In the center is Bellatior with the stripes Kilbunny Pontic. Written handily is pink in the park in the red and white. And on the rail in the white cap is Flemoncello with Ashro Diamond in between stable companions, then Harmonium Maker. And they're followed by Mrs. Grimley in Battling Bessie and Liberty Dance the White Cap. Knocking Art Lady next in the dark blue hat, who's followed by Ava Grace. And next on the inside as they make the bend, Nikini. A break of two to three lengths to High Stranger and Lily de Burley and Toshi Tassi, the back marker. Mile and a half to go, heading away from the stands, and the leader is Montiep by two and a half to three lengths from Bellatior and Kilbunny Pontic. Harmonia Maker makes ground up in between both Flemoncello and Pink in the park and the Nash Road Diamond and Mrs. Grimley battling Bessie next with Nocanard Lady and then Liberty Dance. They're followed to the turn by Ava Grace and High Strangers on the inside of Nikini as they swing into the back straight towards the 10 furlong point. And it's Montiep continuing to show the way. Leads two and a half lengths. Bellatior second and then Harmonia Maker disputing third place with Flemoncello the rail. Then Kilbunny Pontic and Pink in the park who's followed by Ash Road Diamond. Mrs. Grimley's on the inside of Battling Bessie as they head down the back to the halfway stage. Nocanard Ladies improved on the outside. Then Liberty Dance racing up sides over Grace Nakini next with High Stranger. Toshi Tassi relegates Lily de Berlay to be the back marker. Coming up to the halfway point in the Coolmore National Hunt Star Santiago Irish EBF Mayor Zion H. Grade 2 bumper. And it's Montiep with Harmonia Maker going up to dispute the lead. And then Balatior and Flemoncello and Pink in the park and Nocanard Ladies on the outside. Then Kilbunny, Pontic and Mrs. Grimley. Ashro Diamond next with Battling Bessie and Ava Grace being followed by Liberty Dance. They're racing towards the six and a half furlong point and Harmonia Maker picks it up for Jamie Codd. Heads Montiep and Mikey McGuan, a break of three lengths to Bellatio. Barry O'Neill on the outside of Flimoncello, who's being followed by Kilbunny Pontic and Pink in the Park next, and Nocanard Ladies on the outside. Towards the inner is Mrs. Grimley, about to exit the back straight. Five furlongs to go, and it's Harmonia Maker in front, and presses ahead by two lengths to Montiep, Flemoncello, and Bellatior. Pink in the Park next with P Kill Bunny Pontic and Ashro Diamond. Ava Grace has made some ground, and battling Bessie and Mrs. Grimley. Lily de Burley and Nakini next with Liberty Dance. Tightening up. Heading inside the concluding half mile, and it's Harmonia Maker by half a length to Flemoncello, another half a length back to Bellatior. Just in behind them, Ava Grace with Pink in the Park poised. Ashro Diamond battling Bessie is trying to come into it, racing on the approach to the straight with three furlongs to run. It's Harmonia Maker in front, Flem Flemoncello. Ava Grace battling Bessie makes serious ground on the outside of Pink in the Park, and then Liberty dances. They swing into the straight, just over two furlongs to go, and battling. Bessie is produced to pick it up from Ashro Diamond. Pink in the park makes ground on the far side. And then Liberty Dance. Harmonia Makers drop right back. Nikini stays on, racing to the final furlong. Battling Bessie is battling it out with Pink in the park and Ashro Diamond. Liberty Dance next. Then Lily de Berlay and Nikini racing inside the final furlong. In a rousing finale, it's battling Bessie. From on the outside is Ashro Diamond. Lily de Berlay from way off the pace with Pink in the park. Park on the rail, and then Liberty Dance, they're running up towards the finish. Annie, one of five, battling Bessie, Lily de Burley, and Liberty Dance, what a finish. And then Ashro Diamond and Pink in the park, and after them was Nikini, the best finish, saved to last. An unbelievable finish to the concluding Mayor's Bumper here at the Dublin Racing Festival. Ben Crawford is the delighted winning rider. Ben, that celebration told pretty much the, the whole story. Why does that mean quite so much to you? Look, sure, it's a team effort at home. Like That Mayor, she's a wee bit tricky. She won the first day for ourselves, and Stuart, he said to Simon and Isaac, he said, look, I think of a nice Mayor. And look, they had the confidence in him to go and take it. A lot of people said she only won a, a Perth Bumper, and it's maybe not the best bumper in the world, but... You want to start somewhere? She had, look, she couldn't have done it any better. And 
She's a wee bit tricky and we had to be patient today and drop her out stone last. Look, you need a lot of luck to get through 16 mares like that, but geez, she's a lot of heart and she gave me everything she had there. And here, I couldn't be happy for the boys at home and for, for the lads there, Simon and Isaac. So it's, it's great, it's, it's good to get it. We just need a few more. And, and to, be a, to be a part of a day like this, when you see the, the huge operations just absolutely dominate, to get in there amongst them all, to beat the Elliots, the Mullins in that race, that's a, that's a huge feather in the cap of everybody at your, at your yard. Look, very much so, look, we've had a lot of nice horses. But, but we're a selling yard, you know, we're producing and selling young horses on. Yeah. And look, you, you don't get your face and your name in the limelight sometimes. And like everybody at home deserves this now, for sure. It's a great day. I'd say you might be able to hang on to this one. Oh, here, touch wood, touch wood, hopefully. Now. Thank you. Go and weigh in before any more lunatics. Thank you.